Rachel Balducci, welcome to my show. I'm a wife, I'm a mom of six, and I'm the author of Make My Life Simple, Bringing Peace to Heart and Home. I'm always thinking of ways that faith and real life intersect, and I wanted to introduce you to some of the people and concepts that are important to me in my life. I hope you enjoy the show. My friend Holly had her baby and this baby was born with significant stomach issues that prevented him from leaving the hospital for over a month. So friends in our neighborhood and church community have been bringing meals out to this family. Hey! How are you? Good morning. Hey Michael! It's our hospital room. <laughs> wow. And so what kind of care does the baby need? He needs 24 hours a day of TPN and lipids through a Broviac, which is a central line. And that requires me to change out his wires and fluids every day. So this was really neat. I have a, a friend who lives nearby who has taken it upon herself to learn how to do this. So that if ever something were to happen to me, uh, she can be a backup. So she's learned it. And wow. it's quite extensive. Um, so I took over a dresser. So you brought this in. This is the whole like medical. Yeah. Wow. This, this is your hospital room. It is. So these are all the supplies that I need every day. Wow. And this Amazing. is my G tube. Wow. Which I have to change that out every day. And then that's for his dressing. Okay, so here's my other hospital area. No. It's just all kind of organized into these bins. It requires a lot of care. But Jimmy has to get, he has an ostomy bag, so I have lots of supplies mm. everywhere. How long was baby Jimmy in the hospital? 65 days. And so in that time, neighbors and friends have been bringing you guys meals. <laughs> I'm crying. What has that meant to y'all? It has meant that, that I can be present with my children in the hospital with Jimmy and just really concentrate on home life with five other children and um, that I can just really concentrate on um, just being mom and I can just spend what what seems like such a little time at home uh, just concentrating on them. And so now the baby's home and meals are still going on for you and that brings a, a big level of peace. Yes, so Jimmy requires a lot of care and now that I am home with Jimmy it's just it's such a blessing and I can't even believe that meals are still coming. It's very humbling. For me it was really hard to have to admit that I had to just like buy food instead of make this thing. Oh my goodness, no. My kids are so happy with whatever is being brought. What other kind of hospitality have y'all experienced? People have volunteered to watch my children so that I can go to the hospital and be with Jimmy. Given us money to pay babysitters that are already established. People have given us money for gas so that we can even go. People have prayed for us. Just a reminder that I'm not alone. I've had a friend that is really great at research and so I said, hey, could you do some research on Hirsch runs for me? And find out who the best doctors are, what the best care is, and that was her gift, was research, and she offered that to me. Wow, that's beautiful. And it just keeps going on and on and on, and it just hasn't ended, and it's been so amazing to witness and be on the receiving end. It's been very humbling. I thought I wasn't a very prideful person, um, but in reality, I, I was. But I finally was able to say, okay, I'm gonna allow people to serve me and, and ask for help. And, um, and you know, I don't think anyone has ever said no. Mm -hmm. People want to help, and I think it's always a blessing when you know exactly what you can do to help. It takes a, a real humility to be willing to say, this is what I need. It's just an honor when people allow you to come into their life and serve like that. So, Rachel. When I got to talking with my friend about all the kindnesses that have been done for them, I started to feel a little bit sheepish about, you know, Big Whoop bringing a couple of pizzas out there over the course of a couple of months and all the different things that she told me that people have done. But then I thought, you know, if everybody's willing to add a drop in the bucket, the bucket becomes full. So it's not just about how fabulous is my 
act of kindness and my hospitality compared to everybody else, but what am I able to do? And pray that all of those things come together to bless somebody who's in need. And really, when we get to serve other people, it blesses us as much as it blesses the people that we're serving.